Hi folks, we are going to do a very simple torque problem, and I like to call these teeter-totter problems. So actually we're going to put two people on a teeter-totter. Uh, two ladies, Lula and Stephanie, want to teeter-totter together. And Lula weighs 650 newtons, so we're going to put Lula down here. And uh, with some fabulous hair, she weighs 650 newtons, meaning her force of gravity vector will be straight down perpendicular to the teeter-totter. And Stephanie weighs 400 newtons. Lula is sitting 1.5 meters from the fulcrum, or the pivot point, of our teeter-totter. And the question is, where do we put Stephanie? Now, before I draw the picture, let's think this through a little bit. Um, Stephanie weighs a little bit less than Lula. She's only 400 newtons. And so in order to make the pivots balance, to make the torques balance, is she going to be less than 1.5 meters? at 1.5 meters or more than 1.5 meters. We have to have the combination of weight and leverage be the same. And because she's a little lighter, I'm going to put her a little bit further out. So she's going to have a force of gravity vector 400 newtons. And my question is, what's going to be her lever arm? And I forgot to write down that weight. Now, when you're doing these, if you want a system to be stable, the sum of the torques on the system have to equal zero, which means all of the clockwise or negative torques are going to have to equal all of the counterclockwise or positive torques. So for every object that is making the system pivot, they get their own force times lever arm. So the force provided by Lula, the lever arm of Lula, are going to be equivalent to the force provided by Stephanie, the lever arm of Stephanie. Lula is 650 newtons. 1.50 meters is her lever arm from that pivot point. Stephanie is 400 newtons. The lever arm of Stephanie is what we don't know. And when I do the math, I ended up with a lever arm for Stephanie of 2.44 meters. These are delightfully simple, not too complicated problems.